If you were a real Christian and you really believed in the end times prophecies, wouldn't you be afraid to call yourself a prophet knowing that in the Bible it says in the end times that there's going to be a lot of false prophets? YouTube is filled with these end times doomsayers. One thing they all have in common is that they're always on about Obama having to be involved in these end times because, you know, they want to be the terminal generation, the most important people to ever have lived. So they make it all about right now, like it's all coming down to right now. Every human being that was before us, they didn't have the decisions and the, you know, great things going on in their lives that we do. So this has been going on for quite some time. And now they're starting to say that the thing is, Obama's not the Antichrist. And believe me, I don't support Barack Obama. That's not the point here. It's whoever is in office, you know, whoever they get scared about. That's who they talk about as being this Antichrist. So uh, they say, well, he's not the Antichrist, but he is like the one of the horsemen of the apocalypse or some nonsense like that, in that he's going to now start a war with Israel. Well, I guess we'll find out soon enough. There's going to be a lot of bad stuff going on this summer, but the U.S. attacking Israel is not one of them. That's actually laughable, but the stupid Christians think the entire history of the universe is about them and Jesus and the Jews, so they don't understand. Their mind is controlled, and it's supporting the Zionists. And it's been done by Hollywood and the nature of their own clinging to the Old Testament, which I think, I don't even understand why they read that and follow it and everything, except that the Jews do. Because Jesus clearly said, everything before me doesn't have anything to do with you now. I, this is a new covenant through me and my testament and my father, my relationship with my father. He went on and on about this. And he... You know, later on, they decided that the uh, Christians didn't have to follow the rules of the Jews anymore. And that that was an old covenant made with God. And the new one had nothing to do with it. But there's so many juicy things in there that they can grab onto. Like these prophecies of the end of the world and stuff from Daniel and, and other books, Ezekiel, things like that. That um, they just love that stuff, you know. They don't. They follow, they pick and choose whatever it is they, they want to follow on that. But they really, really love it. So, uh, it isn't like I'm going to laugh my ass off at these people, but in some way I hope I can confront one of them when, you know, the end of Obama's term comes and, uh, and the end of the world hasn't come. For my entire 53-year life, these doomsayers have been telling me the end of the world was coming any day now. And I think I'm just sick of it. And one thing I'm really, really sick about it is that they, you know, tell this stuff to teenagers and whatnot. I mean, what a horrible thing to tell a child that, hey, yeah, you know, you're living in the end times. You're not going to make it. <laughs> you're going to die with the rest of us. Or better yet, that, you know, you better live your life. I mean, how do they even, what do they even tell their children? You know, I guess they think they're going to be the some of the ones that are raptured or whatever, because it's a new thing. Christians have only been thinking this stuff for about 100 years now. This whole rapture thing is just something that was invented basically in the beginning of the 20th century. Or it wasn't invented then, but certainly highlighted then. Like I say, they pick and choose out of these old books what they want to pay attention to now in this modern time. This is all fine, but when you're telling children this type of message, I think it's a type of child abuse. And I think these, these people are like pedophiles of doom.